The hydroxamic acid test is a test for a wide range of carboxylic acid derivatives such as acid anhydrides, acyl halides, esters, nitriles, amides, and even some sulfonic acid derivatives. Prior to testing, screen your sample by dissolving it in 1 ml of 95% ethanol with 1 ml 1 molar hydrochloric acid and add a drop of 3% ferric chloride. If a distinct color is produced, note that this test may be invalid. Proceed with testing. First, we add 5 drops of our samples to each test tube. Next, we add 20 drops of 7% hydroxylamine hydrochloride. We make the solution basic by adding 10% methanolic potassium hydroxide until the mixture turns red litmus paper blue. Then we add 10 drops excess. We heat the solution to boiling in a water bath, then let it cool slightly. We then acidify the solution by adding 7% methanolic hydrochloric acid until the mixture turns blue litmus paper red. Lastly, we add 10 drops of 3% ferric chloride solution. Ethyl acetate produced a dark reddish brown color. Benzamide and acetic anhydride produced a red orange color. Benzoyl chloride produced a reddish purple color. Water produced no color. The reddish brown solution you see is the color of the ferric chloride reagent. Here are some guide questions. What is the mechanism of this test? What is the identity of the colored products we've formed? What can cause false positives or false negatives? Because this test is quite broad, what tests are recommended to differentiate positive samples into the numerous compounds the hydroxamic acid test can test positive for? Thanks for watching.